Jesus was no bigger than the earth, wasn't no less or bigger. They was all in the same boat, is what exactly. I'm saying. But they talk about them and they don't talk about earth. So it's weird. You know, maybe oh. it's because he goes on those rants or something, you know, with those with different things and he speaks his mind. Irv is very uh, open to what he speaks about. But like I was saying, do you feel like that's a challenge that other new artists and producers face, not being politically uh, correct in the system? Like Irv speaks his mind. So do you, do, you, do you think that stops him from, you know what I'm saying, opportunities? <laughs> uh you know yes i'm gonna you know i'm gonna speak real tell me the truth to you truth. i'm gonna tell you what my my truth this is my truth i believe it absolutely has effect on the end result which is deals uh, right. we've seen so many people that we thought we was gonna get deals from not do deals and for whatever reason and i know right. even someone like a la reed right. who i've recently seen shout out la reed you know what i'm saying not yeah. too long ago and i spoke about it and I let him know, you know, Irv was supposed to be the president of Def Jam at one point. Okay. And they, and they didn't and they didn't give him the job. Belly Reed didn't give it to him, and he said something to Irv that it goes to what we're talking about right now. And what he said to Irv was, "I can't deal with you like Leor, where you're yelling and cursing me out in front of the whole staff." And that Irv and Leo's relationship was very volatile with the way they handled each other. More, <laughs> right. so, more so Irv handling Leo. And, and to L.A. Reed's credit, which I told him that night because I never really got to speak to him about it, because right. I appreciated, right. me personally, mm -hmm. that you had the balls to say it. Right, right. Because right. most of these execs wouldn't say it. They just disappear. He said, right. Irv, right. I can't work with you like that. For sure. He said, for sure. and he told him, like, you are incredible. You are, the, the, you should be the one, but I, as, the, you know, the chairman at the time of overseeing all of it, I can't work with someone like that, especially you, is too volatile, to which Irv wasn't happy with that answer. But, you know, at the end of the day, I, I told Irv afterwards, I said, at least he gave it to you straight. It was real. Right. He's right. He out of bullshit. Out of bullshit. Yeah. And I said, give the man credit for that, at least. Right, most right. most of these other execs don't have the fucking balls to tell you the 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 the, the real truth. So oh. yes, absolutely, his comments and his uh, demeanor had an effect on his business. So we used to have a gag order for him. You know, I would I would have high <laughs> hey I would have high signs for him like if I hit my nose like yo or pull on my ear like shut up you talking too much. <laughs> But then, you know, that's in the beginning days. Once Irv got to a certain level, he didn't give a fuck what sign I was hitting him with. He didn't give a he gonna say what he want. Okay, so you can't, you can't silence young Malcolm. You can't silence young Malcolm. <laughs> that, 